Since the last eruption finished in the Reckoning Peninsula of Iceland, we have a new set of earthquakes starting. Every day they're increasing. We can see the pooling of the Eurasia creating earthquakes in the Sword Sengi volcanic system and the adjacent ones also. And we are picking those signals of the earthquakes. They are not very big ones, magnitude one or something like that in the Richter scale, but they are coming in clusters. That shows the pulling apart of the land is happening continuously in that region. As they also, uh, the work of the earth is continuing, people also continuing to work. You can see the effect of the machinery on the seismograms that we have. And uh, the land rise due to the magma accumulation is also going ahead. This is from the Skipatsky Keron. As you can see, uh, it shows also compared with the previous eruptions, we have yet some time to go to reach the level that the previous eruption started. That was around 40 million cubic meters. But at the moment, we have now 13 to 19 million cubic meters. Uh, the best estimate is that is 16 million cubic meters at the moment. We are now in the 53rd day and 74 days from the uh, moment of the start of the accumulation of the magma was the time that the previous eruption started. That means 21 days we have yet to go. And that is three weeks in three weeks time. The risk assessment has raised for all the regions. There is now a possibility that we have eruption within the Grindavik. This is the what we are noticing. Something like what happened in January. We had a fire within the boundaries of the town where we had a, a spur of the fissure actually erupting lava in that area. Uh, the previous eruption was like this, something like that, created the phreatic uh, uh, explosions and they, when the magma was coming in contact with the water, that was just north of the Grindavik. This is the Hagerfeld, the closest hill, or probably one of the closest hills to the Grindavik. And if it extends a little bit south, that's it, we are at the defenses, and within those defenses, we will have the eruption. This is what the um, Icelandic Meteorological Office has uh, given as an update. You can see here whatever they have said uh, is, uh, I have covered it for you, the amount of the magma needed, and the estimate, the best estimate is 60 million cubic meters in the coming days. The hazard map, which is a risk uh, assessment and is a legal document, shows that there is a possibility also of the eruption within the Grindavik. And uh, we may have something like what happened previously. We have the crater K1 being active in the past two eruptions. It may active, be active again in the coming eruption. The fissure may cross that. That's the weakest point so far in the ground.